She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugar Baker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, I started thinking about more cookies that I could share with you, and there is an easy one that kind of cheats a little because guess what? You use a cake mix for them, but it's really simple and it also uses an ingredient that we've used before in my other uh, cookies that we use the, the breakfast cereal for. It was my cocoa cardamom um, kind of cookies and these are also using the cardamom um, and it's a spice and we'll talk about it in just a bit, but um, it's really great in these cookies that are mixed together with an easy chocolate cake mix. These cookies will make you look like a star cook because they just bake up with a crackle and you coat them with powdered sugar. I found nine pounds of powdered sugar up in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen cabinet here and um, I just have to get rid of some of this. And um, I'm going to have to make some of my cookies and I'm going to show you how to make it up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. You'll need the following ingredients to make my chocolate crackle cookies. One chocolate cake mix. Two eggs. One tablespoon of water. One third cup cooking oil. Powdered sugar. One teaspoon SARS vanilla extract. One eighth teaspoon ground cardamom. Here's how you put it together. Welcome back. Making my chocolate crackle cookies is super simple. All you need is a clean bowl. Make sure there's no cat hair or anything in there like that. And we're going to take our eggs and we're going to beat them just a little bit and get them going. Two eggs, just like that, right in the bowl. And take a whisk and just whisk them around to get them started. Now, at this point, we're going to add one third cup of the cooking oil to the eggs. And we've got that here. Let's see. One third cup. Just any old cooking oil work. This was on sale. There we go. One third cup. Dump that on in there just like that. We're going to add one tablespoon of the water down into there, the mixture there. And I add about a teaspoon. And today we're adding the Sawyer's Vanilla Extract. I just think it's the greatest. There we go. And it's real, real nice vanilla. And we're going to mix that around real good. All right. Now, the secret ingredient today that makes your cookies go a long way is the cheap cake mix. And we're going to add that to the liquid mixture to make like a dough. To, to make the cookies. And that's just a simple chocolate cake mix and I picked this up at the dollar store and any chocolate one will do. And we're just going to put that on in there into the bowl. Put that on in there. And at this point I like to use one of my electric mixers. Just a simple one will work. And get that going to make a dust. Now we're going to add a little bit 
bit of today's other secret ingredient, and that is the cardamom. Today I'm using the Spice Hunter Lines Guatemalan Cardamom, and it's ground up, and this is one of your upper tier type of spices, and it does cost a little bit more than like, say, garlic powder, but it's definitely worth it, and it goes a long way. A nice size bottle like this will keep you going for a while. We made cookies before with this, but this is going in our chocolate crackles, and you know, people really will uh, question what's in this because people aren't experienced with this spice and this has like a flowery taste and it's got a hint of ginger and a little bit of lemon uh, taste to it too and you know overseas they use it to freshen breath and they say it helps with digestion and it's just really great and today we're going to use about 1 8 teaspoon you can use a little bit more but you have to be daring for that but we're using the Guatemalan cardamom at this point in our mixture Gonna, wow, that smells so good. Wow, it's just really vibrant. It has a flowery, uh, like flowers, and uh, but it's it tastes good, especially with chocolate. It'll bring out the the bittersweet of the chocolate right on out. One eight teaspoon there, and we're gonna mix that around just a bit. After you mixed up your dough, get a paper plate and line it with some powdered sugar. Just go ahead and dump a whole bunch on there, just like that. And just shake it all out, just like that. Now, here comes the messy part. You need to make one inch balls out of the dough mixture. And I've coated my hands with a little powdered sugar to start with. And I'm rolling them around. And now I'm gonna dunk them in the powdered sugar uh, little tray here and I'm gonna pop them on a baking sheet that we've sprayed down with butter spray and I'm gonna put them about two inches across so they can spread a little bit and I'm gonna get to work here and get a whole pan ready to pop in the oven. Now we have a full tray of our cookies, which we're going to put in our preheated oven that's been preheating at 375 degrees. We're going to bake them for about 10 to 12 minutes, and they're going to crackle up on top, and you don't want to overcook them because they're kind of a soft cookie to, to begin with, kind of like a brownie bite, if you ask me. But they're really elegant when they get done, and we're going to see them in just a bit. So let's pop them in the oven. If I can get mine open. There we go. Set your timer. Our cookies are ready to take out of the oven. Wow, look at that. The nice crackle on top with the powdered sugar and they kind of look like earthquake cookies. But these are really great and they look real fancy and we're gonna cool these off on the pan for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna transfer them to maybe some paper towels on the counter or even some fancy wire racks. Wow, and that cardamom smells so great too. Time for cookies. I have one of my chocolate crackle cookies here and look how pretty that is. That would be a big seller at a bake sale this summer, and it was so simple from a cheap cake mix, too, and my kitchen is so scented from that cardamom, it was so easy to add, and it adds so much flavor to these cookies that really make people wonder what you added to them to, to make them have the taste, and I just can't wait to try it. Mmm! I taste the chocolate, and the cardamom is just really great. It tastes like ginger and lemon and mint all at the same time and they're puffy too. Kind of like a brownie type cookie and it just has this real nice texture that would grow great with a big glass of milk and so dainty and so pretty with that crackle top and makes you look like a pro in the kitchen. I hope you get a chance to make these but if you do send me some pictures of it. We might be in another episode. I'll show some of those. And tune in next time where I'll show you some more cheap and easy budget tips and tricks. 
I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. Visit me on the web at JolaneSugarbaker.com. I love you, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride Bye, in the stuff. double wide. Visit my store at jolanesugarbaker.com.